Bolivar since 1895. Hey, everybody, I'm okay in this cigar vlog. Okay, so we have here a Bolivar. It is named after, uh, I'm guessing, whoever the hell this guy is. Uh, I want to say some, I want to say Bolivian general? Me, Spanish? Eh, probably have their own. I, I don't know. <laughs> and that's not really what I care about. What I care about is the cigar. I will check into the history lesson a later date when I actually have the urge to do that. Construction is interesting because, as you can see, there's this huge cap which is just asking to fly off of there. On the plus side, it is a nice double cap, so I should be able to trim that just fine. And I have to worry about everything coming apart. Yeah. See if maybe I can get that a little better. Okay, I think that's about as good as that's going to get. So I imagine that since this is, okay, since it says since 1895, there's probably a reason why they've been around that long, which means hopefully this is a gem instead of just somebody put it out there because the government told them to. Yes, indeed, this position is totally not awkward at all. Straight away, very heavy coffee hit. Slightly floral nose, retro hail. Am I gonna say there's any spice? Touch your earthiness. Overall, good start. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and uh, get this uh, going here. Maybe see if there's anything in the light wise I can fix. I don't. I don't think I should. I think everything looks alright to me. What do you think? Good? Yeah? Maybe? Maybe. I'm going to get this down to the first inch and see if anything wakes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You believe that? You believe this? Some government goon come down here, put this big-ass graffiti all the way down. So this is why we can't have anything nice. Okay, so, anyway. By an engine. I've been noticing there's not really a spice, like pecan spice or anything like that. It's more like a very strong baking spice. You get a kind of cinnamon, nutmeg kind of deal. So far, it's striking me as very coffee heavy, which is definitely not a bad thing. Me <laughs> too! Gotta love the tunnel. On a side note, uh, the restaurants over here have been going completely banana sandwich, so all I've been smelling has been seasoned fries and ribeye steak. And it's like, mm. I don't have any money on me, do you Okay. But, I have a very aromatic cigar that is uh, definitely shaping up to be quite good. Yeah, it's striking me very, like, dark, dark espresso. A little baking spice, occasionally a touch of earthiness, a little bit of sweet. Not bad. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this down to the halfway point. I don't remember where the halfway one is. Oh, there it is. This kind of thing about the band kind of helps you remember where the halfway is. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to get this down to halfway and uh, see if anything wakes up, changes, or starts standing out a little bit. Okay, at the halfway point. Hopefully, I'm not going to get run by a bicyclist. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like an oblivion gate opened somewhere over the hills, and doom and gloom are about to dump all over everybody, and there's always somebody out here riding a bicycle. Anyway. Flavors so far have been pretty consistent, but kind of consistently good. I kind of want to say getting a little bit more intense, but it's kind of one of those things where you let a puff go for a little while and you end up noticing more flavors as it uh, finishes off. There is a little bit of a sweetness that gets you in the back of the throat that kind of builds as you smoke, which is nice. So. 
So far, I can pretty safely say that uh, this is pretty much tasting like what you would expect a classic cigar to taste like. Strong espresso notes, touch of earthiness, occasionally a little bit of a sweet note that kind of builds in, baking spice, overall very nice. It also kind of dawned on me that uh, this might actually be a Boulevard Maduro because it's very obviously a very dark Maduro wrapper. And I'm not sure if Boulevard makes one in a more natural, lighter color shader wrapper or exactly what, but, uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna have to look that up when I actually post this. <sighs> anyway, flavor so far been good, they've been building, and I kind of want to say that this is probably one of the cigars that if you can afford them, they're kind of a little pricey if you get a full box. Uh, this is an excellent first cigar to get a new smoker into, uh, provided, of course, they are Right, of course, the nicotine doesn't end up bombing me uh, somewhat, sometime later here. It's kind of funny you start getting like non-smokers into smoking cigars because you want to make sure they have a good experience, and but at the same time you don't want to give them like a weird impression. Like for a while I was saying that a Drew Estate Acid would be a great gateway cigar, and it is. The problem is it can end up kind of tinting someone's view of what a cigar is supposed to taste like because if you've ever had a Drew Estate Acid they have this very kind of floral potpourri magic kind of taste to them and that's peculiar only to them so well it's a good starter it's kind of only subjectively so nice breeze decided to kick up play hold my audio thank you Yeah, excellent first cigars. This one would be a great one, provided, of course, the intensity isn't too much. Punch makes for a very good first cigar. Uh, but yeah, something like a Drew Estate Acid is a good gateway, but you kind of want to be a little careful with those. Something like a Boulevard, though. Been around since 1895? I'd say there's a pretty good reason for it. Anywho, I'm going to get this down at the nub and uh, see if anything wakes up changes or just dulls out. Okay, pretty much down to the nub here. A little bit of a breeze, I'm kind of thinking that maybe cause for a few slight issues with uh, the burn. Otherwise, another quick touch up here and there you can't fix. Flavors have been pretty consistent throughout. Uh, slight build, not anything too major. But overall, it's always somebody with a motorcycle every time. At least it's not the other guy that was, I think, in a tuner car. That thing was loud. Also had a nice little backfire. Anyway, flavor profile been very, very coffee heavy. Very much a classic cigar. Very heavy coffee notes. I want to say maybe every so on a touch a kind of cocoa-ish, kind of, you know, like dark chocolatey. Dark espresso, dark chocolate kind of thing. A little bit of baking spice, still a little sweet every now and then. Touch of earthiness, just for balance. Overall, this has been a lovely classic cigar. If you're taking a coffee drinking friend that uh, is curious about cigars, or if you're someone a little bit more experienced, you definitely cannot go wrong with this one. Definitely recommend it. That said, uh, to my knowledge, I think full boxes of these get a little pricey. So just be mindful of that. Otherwise, Definitely worth checking out. Anyway, looks like it's about to dump rain all over the place. It's already raining like crazy over the... well, that way. And I think everybody at the restaurant has stopped frying, you know, the fries and the steaks and all that, so it's, I think it's about ready to wrap this up and go in. Anyway. Not much else to say about this one. I'll have to check it out. If you can, if you can, if the price isn't too dear. Eventually I'll figure out what I'm trying to say. Anyway, if you like this review and you're either review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch stream Sunday to, Friday, uh, Sunday to Friday night, 10 to 2 a.m. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot drink pairings. Coffee, whiskey, pretty standard. Anything you'd classically pair with a cigar. All right. So, that's it. That's it. Yep, that's it. Nothing else to say. I'll see you next time.